we continue from uh, uh, yesterday where we left and uh, we were talking about uh, the uh, understanding uh, making radio play and uh, the human voice okay so uh, the uh, i i told you about uh, the role of human voice uh, and uh, in coordination with the uh, machine that uh, records and uh, i have also included a long note in the uh, youtube video that talks about that tells you about the uh, entire story uh, of of this of this play now uh, as i ask you to buy uh, the book and i hope uh, uh, some of you uh, have done so uh, ideally each one of you must uh, have that book right now what we can do uh, we will uh, divide uh, 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 teams okay into uh, say five uh, groups okay and uh, we, i will assign each group uh, some task certain task and that has to be carried out some people may be interested in uh, music and creating uh, background score some may be good in visualization visualizing the uh, overall uh, storyboard that is uh, as i told you that uh, a radio play is uh, uh, staged on a timeline so a radio play is staged on a timeline this uh this play is a two act play okay so of course there will be an interval uh after act 1 and act 2 will uh will start and uh uh now you see uh what we what we uh, have to um, find out that the first thing is that how does this story how does the plot unfold there are two things uh, in a play one is a plot and another is the story okay so all uh, we have we discussed this in the classroom also that a plot is uh, a sequence of events then when the events will unfold events will unfold of the play that is the plot but story is uh, uh, larger than the plot so story uh, tells us more about the characters about uh, uh, what actually happened to them and how they suffered or how the tragedy uh came into existence and uh, then uh, different uh, geographical locations streets a city town and uh, time for example whether it is a uh, 1980 or 90 or what which time is it so uh, so you see a uh, time line timeline is a kind of story boarding uh, for a radio play the same we do for uh, film also some of you uh, uh, have interest in film making and when you have uh, taken uh, shots uh, uh, of uh, your film and you come back what do you do you put them uh, in a sequence the sequence you know because you are the storyteller so you put them on a on a board which we call storyboard or timeline okay so there are several softwares which uh, uh, you use to edit the film now similarly uh, as we have here a play and uh, the play is meant for staging for stage but we are visualizing this is this in 
in um, it as a radio play now therefore many things that the text mentions in the uh, in the actual script of the play have to be rethought for our purpose rethought for our purpose means that we have to adapt it to a new situation and the new situation is that we are making it into a radio play now uh, you see the uh, so how to go uh, how to go uh, first uh, step is to understand that uh, this is what the play is about why because uh, this gives you a whole uh, an overall idea that uh, uh, will motivate your imagination and motivate your creativity to uh, really visualize it to think about it okay so uh, this is one uh, very important area that we must know how the uh, plot unfolds first thing is uh, what is the plot and what is the story and how it unfolds so this is one area okay now the second thing is that uh, right from the beginning to the end uh, let us say if it is is uh, going to be a uh, 30 minute play or 40 minute play which means we can adapt we can uh, we can remove some some area or we can um, revisualize certain things if it is uh, long but uh, uh, one thing but we must be clear that that the beginning to the end, big from beginning to the end entire story is going to be told in sound this should be clear okay so uh, we have no light we have no costume we have no physical space and we have no uh, bodies uh, to move we have no um, facial expressions we have no hands so what do we have in this entire uh, story in this entire drama so we are going to tell drama through sound so this is now a very different kind of uh, a challenge that uh, you are going to face now you see it is not strange uh, it is not something new for you uh, if you are sleeping in your if you are sleeping in your oh, in your home in your room in the night and it is uh, let us say the night is very stormy and um, windy and rain now sitting inside your house sleeping even what you hear you are not there you can't see it you can't don't want to go outside and uh, sometimes you have a sound of a certain kind of wind sometimes it is very heavy sometimes it is something like whistling then suddenly you have you know uh, lightning so you have thunder thundering sound and then uh, suddenly you see some trees around uh, your area they start shaking and you have a different kind of sound and then it suddenly rains and you have uh, uh, you know water drops and they falling so you see you are crowded your 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 ears actually are filled with lot of sounds around you so what happens for 5 minute or 10 minute or 15 minute outside your room that the nature is telling a story to you through sound now you can't go but inside your room you are you are listening to those sounds and then those sounds are already there you know in your brain and your brain is interpreting those sounds and you are able to imagine what is happening outside so so you see uh, telling a story through sound is not something very new for you yes what is new here that you will be creating it as a story by using the raw material that you already have and uh, uh, creating this story uh, uh, will definitely require uh, uh, how you imagine uh, the text that is there 